Salt Lake City, Utah Salt Lake City is the capital of the state of Utah in the United States. It is one of Utah's most populous cities, known for its beautiful mountains, museums, classic theaters, parks, ski resorts, and friendly people. Salt Lake City offers a variety of outdoor activities including hiking, boating, and fishing, but its ski resorts are what draws the majority of visitors. Did you know that Salt Lake City is responsible for the world's highest jello consumption per capita? In today's video, we're going to take a look at the religious background it is famous for and the attractions to visit in Salt Lake City. Stick to this video till the end to find out what recreational activities this city has to offer you. Salt Lake City is a tourist destination not only for skiing but also for cultural and historical reasons. The hosting of the Winter Olympics in 2022 also added to its value. It is most well known for the leisure outdoor activities it offers such as hiking in the gorgeous mountains, skiing, exploring ancient buildings, wandering through gardens and much more. Let's take a deeper dive into Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City was created in 1847 by early pioneers led by Brigham Young, who became known as the Mormon Pioneers. In order to avoid persecution, they entered the semi-arid valley and altered it by establishing an extensive irrigation network that could feed the inhabitants and support future expansion. The city, which has a population of 199,723 in 2020, is the heart of the Salt Lake City metropolitan region, which has a population of 1,257,936. With a population of 199,723, Salt Lake City is the capital and one of the most populated cities in the United States of Utah. It has an area of 110.4 square miles and an elevation of 4,327 feet above sea level on average. The lowest point inside the city limits is 4,210 feet at the Jordan River and the Great Salt Lake. While the highest point is Grandview Peak, which stands at 9,410 feet. The city is located in the northeast corner of the Salt Lake Valley, bounded by the northwest by the Great Salt Lake, to the east by the High Wasatch Range, and to the west by the Ochre Mountains. Salt Lake City's climate is cold and semi-arid. It has substantial seasonal temperature changes. The summers are hot, dry, and mainly clear, while the winters are quite cold, snowy, and partly cloudy in the city. Massive storms that roll in from the Pacific Ocean via the jet stream from October to May are the main source of precipitation. There's a lot to see and do in Salt Lake City, which can be overwhelming. So let us talk about the must-see attractions and exciting outdoor activities you may partake in to make your trip to Salt Lake City a memorable one. Let's start with Salt Lake. The Great Salt Lake, spanning approximately 1,700 square miles, is the biggest natural lake west of the Mississippi River. The name of the lake is derived from the nature of the water. It contains 4.5 billion tons of salt. This increases the salt density of the water by nearly 10 times that of the ocean. Picnics, hiking, fishing and boating are all popular outdoor activities. It would be utterly unjust not to have Temple Square on your list when visiting Salt Lake City. It is one of the most well-known attractions in Salt Lake City as well as a sacred site for the Mormons. More people visit Temple Square each year than visit Utah's five national parks. It has a total size of 35 acres. The Mormon Temple, the Mormon Tabernacle, the Temple Annex and the Gothic-style Assembly Hall are the four major Mormon structures. Beautiful flower gardens, trees and fountains surround all the structures, adding to their splendor. This is why the greatest time to visit Temple Square is in the spring when the flowers are in full bloom and the breeze is gentle. You should also stop by the Family History Library, the largest genealogy library in the world. We recommend taking a guided tour of Temple Square. There is no better way to learn about a place than to go to the museum. Museums allow you to see the region through the eyes of predecessors. During your visit to Salt Lake City, you can take your family and friends to the National Museum of Utah for an enlightening experience. The museum is housed in a magnificent copper-clad concrete structure. 
The museum includes about 40,000 square exhibits and teaching facilities, as well as 1.6 million pieces in its collection, thanks to its massive spaces. A computerized globe, dinosaur fossils, and a three-story indoor canyon are among the highlights of the rare goods on show. Overall, this museum is well worth your time and money. Also, when you're done exploring the ancient treasure within the museum, you can check out the Red Brew Garden, which is right next to the museum. It will make a great background for your pictures. And who knows, you may also experience something like William Wordsworth felt after seeing the daffodils. Skiing is one of the dominant reasons that attract visitors to Utah, and if you are fond of skiing, you made the right choice by choosing Salt Lake City as your travel destination. Within easy reach of the city are the ski resorts of Park City, Deer Valley, Snowbird, Ulta, Brighton, Solitude, Snow Basin, and Powder Mountain. All of them are equally amazing and with their own peculiar charm. You may also choose any resort for skiing based on your choice. Snowbird Ski Resort has been recommended by a lot of visitors. The Snowboard Ski Resort, which covers 2,500 acres and has 3,240-foot vertical drops, offers 169 routes for both novice and advanced skiers. Some travelers even compare the slopes to those found in Colorado. Hiking, biking, fishing, and even ziplining are among the warm weather activities available at the resort. Another feature is the picturesque aerial tram, which transports visitors up to 2,900 feet to the summit of Hidden Peak. Snow Basin and Powder Mountain are also amazing but underrated resorts located about an hour away to the north of Salt Lake City. Plus, if you feel anxious and hate being in crowds, then Snow Basin is the ideal destination for you. The Powder Mountain is a historic key resort that has the skiable terrain of all the resorts in the United States. If you visit Salt Lake City with your children, they will be overjoyed if you take them to the Hogel Zoo. Hogel Zoo is easily accessible from downtown and is located on the city's eastern outskirts. The zoo is 42 acres in size and home to around 800 animals from all over the world. On a hot day, kids can cool down in the Lighthouse Point Splash Zone, or they can ride a cute miniature train that runs by the lion cages, or spin on a historical carousel for a modest cost. A visit to the zoo would be a thrilling and unforgettable experience for your children, and it would be the highlight of their trip to Salt Lake City. Now, let's talk about where to stay in Salt Lake City. Let's take a look at our top three picks. The top one on our list is the Penthouse Loft. If you want to go for a luxurious and intimate option, this house will fit you perfectly. This loft is located right in the heart of Salt Lake City, the best thing about this 1100 square feet house is the attractions like Gateway, City Creek, Temple Square, Vivint Arena, Capitol Theatre, the Utah Sympathy, and various restaurants and pubs are all within walking distance. It contains a well-furnished single bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a living room. The next one on our list is the Modern House, and it is named so because of its contemporary design and structure. This elegant house has three bedrooms, which can take up to six guests. Not only that, but it also includes a pool and a surround sound home theater. Cool, right? You can have the best time of your life while dining in its beautiful backyard and having intimate conversations with your family. All in all, every part of this house is just perfect. This amazing house is the last one on our list. This 2400 square foot property has seven spacious bedrooms, making it ideal for a large group of friends or relatives visiting. It provides a completely equipped kitchen where you may prepare your favorite recipes as well as a lovely garden. Overall, Salt Lake City offers a lot of exciting things for everyone. It has it all from breathtaking scenery to parks, museums, and magnificent infrastructure. Another reason to visit Salt Lake City is the festival it organizes, such as the Utah Arts Festival, which has been held yearly since 1977. The Dark Arts Festival, on the other hand, is a three-day annual festival dedicated to the goth and industrial subcultures. We definitely recommend visiting Salt Lake City. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please check out other videos on our channel.